such a great honor to be here and to be asked. And, and some of you may be asking, what the heck is the Secretary of Correction from Pennsylvania talking to us about when a juvenile system isn't even under him? I'm not quite sure, to tell you the truth. Um, but what I do know is that we're at a time in our country where just locking everybody up is not where we're at. Now, there's probably a bunch of reasons for it. Frankly, I just think we're out of money. And we can't afford business as usual. So all over the country, in every state, the focus is to reduce the use of incarceration. Big focus on the adult system because big spend in the adult system. And that provides us with an opportunity. You know, when you're in crisis, you have lots of opportunities. And it provides you in particular with an opportunity that we've never seen before. And the first thing I'll tell you is make sure you're at the table for these discussions on adult corrections reform. Make sure you've introduced yourself to the Secretary of Corrections. Make sure you introduced yourself to the person running the local jail. Because I'll tell you, the long-term answer is in this room, not in my room. Right now, I have 51,000 broken individuals locked up in Pennsylvania. And it was Frederick Douglass who said, it's easier to build strong children than repair broken men. And so when, when state officials come, and you guys are nonprofits, you know, I'm from this state, I'm here to help you, right? What does that usually mean? <laughs> more work, more regulation, more oversight, less money, right? My point is, I'm here for a self-serving reason. Because it's easier to build strong children. And you have an opportunity to build strong children. 